everybody, but he would never complain when he would want people to come help him when he got behind. But they were the worst mm-hmm. producing truck, everything. Like if you looked at the numbers, you would have been like, yeah, that, that, that guy sucked. It's time for bookkeeping, beer, and BS. The, so, so Mitch had said, I tried performance-based pay, but it got complicated. I couldn't figure out how to automate it. The guys got bitchy because their commission about their commissions created beef, hated it. Um, ha, but, but also then he finished by saying like, but I know I need to switch back. I think Mitch, I think so much of it is how you communicate it and, and explain mm-hmm. it and you do need to automate it. And if so, if, so like it does create more administrative work but it totally pays for itself because otherwise you have the problem that you have now, which is if they make 13 bucks an hour, 20 bucks an hour, they still suck. So the reason they bitched about it is because you did it to guys that suck, right? If, if you didn't hire them under that understanding, like normally when people switch, they lose at least half of their crew. Cause you have a crew that wants to get paid hourly and make more money for not doing more stuff or adding more value, but for being there longer. A couple of those guys might like excel under commission because they're your hard working dudes. But normally when you switch to commission, you have to like damn near replace your whole crew. And that's just part of it because you need to go find people that want to work under that mindset. And once you do, it'll pay for itself over and over and over again. Mm -hmm. But you do need to have a system to do it because if they don't understand how they're getting paid and if they aren't getting thousand dollar paychecks and they can see when they crush it this week and they get a huge paycheck the next week and this week sucks and they get a small paycheck. Like they need to get that experience and exposure, right? So that, much of it. When we interview people now, we show them like a couple of weeks with a couple of real guys, like here's how this guy is getting paid. And, and that's like part of the interview. We don't ask them questions. We just show them how this is going to work. So when they come in, it's like, yep, I signed up for this. I voted for this. I wanted this. I yeah. want to have the risk. I want to show you what I can do. And I want all it's the- because you show, you show them how to win. You, you show them how to play the game and then you show them how they can win. Yep. Well, and then you get winners. Right. Because the losers don't want to stick around and deal with that. We definitely, and I mean, it sounded like Ryan, you, you guys pay your guys hourly during Christmas late season. And we do, we do that hourly with, with pretty aggressive bonuses during wash season. It's absolutely production pay, but during light season, there's way too much chaos, too many variables, two guys on this job, six guys on this. You got a four day project with this crew and this crew. And then that crew was there for, three days the other crew was only there for a day and a half like th- yep. there's there's not enough time to to figure all that crap out other than you know yeah you guys you guys did two-thirds of the work you're getting ten thousand dollars worth of credit on this job and you guys are getting five thousand i'm still paying you your hourly here's your awesome bonus but like that's how we do it that's how we yeah. do it. We, we have a kpi sheet spreadsheet and it has each crew and what they did that day so if, if we're, they're at so you say that a twenty thousand dollar job and two crews busted out in two days, right? And and this crew was here the whole time on both days, and the other crew had to leave halfway through the day. Well, then they're only going to get you know a small that, that smaller percentage on that second day, and then whatever else they did. And that's how we also did it to make it so they could win. If you had to go help a crew because they were going to have to work late and you got done early, then you got part of their revenue yep. to go help them. And so we we actually had a lot every everybody but one crew and the crew that uh, was complaining about it. He, he, they're no longer that he wasn't with us. We were, we were going to fire him, but he wound up quitting and all this. But um, it was, loser. yeah, ex- well, that's exactly what it was. He he would complain about everybody going, him having to go help everybody, but he would never complain when he would want people to come help him when he got behind. But they were the worst mm-hmm. producing truck, everything. Like if you looked at the numbers, you would have been like, yeah, that, that, that guy sucks. Like you just need yeah. to get rid of him because this kind of system is going to take a B player and might make him an A player. An A player is going to excel and going to be awesome. A C player isn't going to really change because they're not going to be driven to do it. They're going to weed themselves out because they're going to be like, this is, this is terrible. They want me to work more. And, and, and I didn't even want to work with the work I did before, you know, like, so then they're going to wind up quitting or, you know, blowing up or what, whatever is going to happen yep. because they're not making the money the other crew leaders are and other crews are. So 